King J. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy King J, and today I'm gonna be changing up my setup. So I need a new mouse. I need a new keyboard. So you know, the people at Omen gave me a mouse and a keyboard to check out. So you know, we got the Omen reactor, and we have the Omen sequencer, which is the keyboard. So quality is aluminium build high quality volume control keys are fully customizable with n key rollover and anti ghosting so i'm definitely interested to check that out the omen react has 0.2 response and zero input lag so that means you ain't getting no input lag up to 10 times faster with opto mechanical keys so looking forward to seeing that it has adjustable shape it has dpi control and it has a metal cable for anti snagging so I'm looking forward to seeing what that does I'm gonna show you what's in the box what's on the box and I'm gonna show you how it looks other than that let's go to my bed because that's where the products are and that's where I want to show you what's on the box and what's in the box so first off we have the Omen Sequencer which is the optical mechanical gaming keyboard it says 10 times faster response time and then it says optical mechanical switches, customizable RGB back, back lighting, five macro keys, volume and media controls, English keyboard layout. Let's see what the back is saying. I like, you know what? One thing I want to say is you see this part is kind of like hollow, this red kind of like shiny part. I was going to say holographic, but this red type of shiny part is really nice on the keyboard. It definitely looks packaged well. So on the back is saying like pretty much, you know, all the stuff that's here, what's in the box and stuff. Industries leading optical mechanical switches, but then different languages as well. Kind of shows you what stuff is on the keyboard. It has everything here. I don't really like going too much onto into the box stuff, but yeah, that's pretty much that for the Omen sequencer. Before I even go into that, one thing I like about this part here is that you can test out the buttons. It's pretty cool. You know, if you're in a shop and you see this, you can test out the buttons, see how they press and how see how they are. It's pretty cool. But yeah, let's get to the Omen Reactor. So the Omen Reactor is an optical mechanical gaming mouse, three times faster, optical mechanical switches, 16,000 DPI sensor, adjustable palm wrist. You know, again, same thing, shiny part of the Omen logo on the corner. Again, I like the way I was packaged. I think it's pretty cool. Then it's got it's what it says here. Got the stuff on the back and it shows you like in numbers. I think it's pretty straightforward and you know, I feel like they've done a good job in kind of like just putting everything on the box. It, so yeah, let me open up and show you what's inside. All right, so let me take this out. See what's in the box. Okay, so it's packaged very well. There you have it. it. Looks pretty nice, I like it. This is pretty cool, you know, definitely cool. I'm gonna get into that, have a look at that, into more depth in a bit. All right, so now we got the Omen sequencer. So let's see what's in the box. All right, so we've got this. This is a thick profile. Again, we have the two red uh, USB parts as well. These are the bits red. Um, we have something in here. I like the way it's packaged. It's packaged pretty cool. We've got this in here. Same pretty stuff like last time with the mouse. Okay, that's it. Do we have anything in there? Nope, nothing in there. Back of it looks real nice. Like the back of it looks real nice. You know, it's got these as well. You can put in or take out. You know, if you want it to have a little tilt. Pretty cool. The buttons are nice. I like the shape of it as well. As you can see, you know, it's got this part here, and it's got the media buttons as well. So it's got play, stop, uh, go back or go forward. Uh, the omen button there. Yeah, it looks nice man. It looks nice. I want to see how it looks properly though to be fair So once I connect it up, I'm gonna have a little few goals of it And then I'm gonna give you my my thoughts and my verdict As you can see I can change the colors to whichever one I want It show you the live preview here It could be to whatever I want React straight away now when going in animation now, you can see it takes quite quite some time. But animation, yeah, it takes quite a bit of time to load. Yeah, you could choose between speed, slow, medium, or fast. So this part is color cycle. So you know, apply. So they show you on 
on the PC how it looks but they don't show you a live preview on here they don't show you a live preview at all on that which is they could have that could have been improved I thought that would have been better because here it shows you like okay if you press the button here ghost in look so if I apply it ghost yeah and you can change the color to volcano so like look Okay, I haven't applied it, but now I'll apply it, look, so it'll be Volcano. So it shows you what you can do to change it. Um, there's not that much effects as well. So if I want to do that, there ain't that much effects. I think the ones that everyone will probably be using is Breathing or Ghosting. Breathing is pretty cool. So there we go, yeah. So this is this looks pretty cool. I like the red as well. So, uh, and you know, off if I want the keyboard off, I just play and just do it off like that. But no one wants that, so at least we gotta have something going on, right? So, I think this will basically advance. So, you can change from brightness if you don't want that part to be, if you don't want zone one, which is this part here, if you don't want that to be bright, you can turn that off, turn it on. If you want the color to change, you know, you can change the color if you wanted to. You know, if I want to change the color, change it to whatever I want. And, you know, it's showing you exactly here in real time what, what the color is. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to apply. So I think that's it. And then you've got multi-zone as well. So, you know, if I wanted to change this and make this be a color, you know, or add a zone, you know, like, it's up to you in what way you want to do it. But, yeah, that's about it really. So that's, uh, obviously you got your macros as well. If you want to sign, sign up your macros, this is how you do it, create new, you know. But we'll do that later, view later. So right now, I'm going to go to the mouse, which is the, the Omen Reactor. With the mouse, you could change the colors of this part. Say, for example, I want to change this. I'm going to make it blue. Change it blue. Apply. So now it's blue. It's pretty much that simple, that straightforward. I do like this mouse, but you know, my hands are big. As you can see, my hands are very big. You know, catch these hands. These hands are very big. But you know, my my pinky always rubs across here. You know, so I think it's just a matter of preference. Um, I do like the kind of like, say metal, metal braiding of this. I like this, I think this is really nice. Or metal cable, it's really nice. Never really seen that on the mouse before. Um, yeah, I like, I like the mouse. I do like it, you know, it's affordable as well. So yeah, still playing around with it. But yeah, you could change this. You can't change, can you change? You could change the ball. So I'm going to try and change it to, change it to blue. So as you can see, this has changed as well. And the light is pretty bright. You know, as you can see, it's pretty bright as well. Um, but yeah, if you want to do advanced, you could do advanced. You know, if you want to make it more bright, you know, so it's pretty cool. Animation as well, you could do animation. If I want to do breathing, you could do breathing or blinking. So apply, look, blinking. Or you could do breathing. Uh, the DPI as well, you could change in DPI mode. The DPI indicator is always on, so yeah, it's, it's cool, man. Macros again, macros, settings. You know, you could change the DPI sensitivity, but you could also change the sensitivity by just pressing this button here. This will change it. Look, as you can see, it's going up. And then, but you don't have to go into settings. You could just do this just while you're just searching on on the internet or playing your games, which is really it's a really cool feature. Just to press this. You know, if you feel like you're playing a game and you know you're trying to aim and you can't, your aim is not good. All you have to do is press this button. It changes your sensitivity, also known as DPI, and DPI indicators on. So it's here. So as you can see, this is <laughs> the mouse is getting crazy right now. So I want to change it to maybe a lower setting. So like this is fine. Yeah. So I like it. I like the, I like the mouse. I like the settings that it got. Even on the keyboard as well, if you want if you want the sound off, you press this button and it highlights in red. I like it man. I really do like it. 
So I'm gonna get my overall verdict right now and let you know what I think. These are two cool products from Omen by HP. If you wanna check them out, check out the link down below.